it's, it's messy back here. You know. Someone just hasn't seen you for a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying to cover my face here, because I don't want you to see my face. Um, always, my face is right here. Like, I know you guys have not seen me for a while, because, uh, I've been doing a lot of things this past week that I'm trying to get myself back in control, but this is part eight. I have no idea what to talk about in part, this part today. Um, we can do a little math, shall we, if we can? Um, I guess, um, we can do a little math or something, or... Maybe we can do, um, maybe let's do a little bit, um, if you were a senior, um, maybe we should do a little calculus, that makes sense, though. Because I am a calculus expert, so, um, I'm not sure how this goes, but it's my first time doing it, so, um, Niston's doing good, um, not necessarily, because Niston has been throwing food at classmates, well, well, the coronavirus outbreak. What's talking about, about the coronavirus? The coronavirus is, um, the coronavirus is when you don't go places because you don't want to get near people who can be sick. That's what is happening right now. Hopefully it'll end because I want to go back to things to get on plan. I'm planning to move or something. Because, um, Quinn's been telling me that he's tired of living in Indiana. He wants to move out with the family. Like, he's tired of staying in Indiana. He's been in Indiana for like a long time. Like, he wants to do a change. His mom does not understand that. So, um, he would like, she, his mom offered him to stay in Indiana for a while, but Quinn does not understand that. Um, but Quinn really wants to do that. I can tell if he wants to do that. I would say yes to him. Maybe it can take like a couple weeks or something, but <laughs> this is not what it's about, but hopefully we can get this figured out. Um, Quinn's been living with this house since like about two years. Um, I had a little back crash this morning, like, uh, I know Lions have been, uh, gone to do some plans, but Lion will be back, and, um, the video will be coming on tomorrow. Um, this is during, like, um, I forgot what that is, because I've been running out of I've been gone for like a while. I need to stay here very often if I can. Quinn has been making many skits all of a sudden, so, uh, maybe things offered him to plan or something, but school's almost over, um, but it's only for seniors, um, if you're a freshman, sophomore, um, junior, you can watch. I'm just gonna teach the seniors, seniors don't know about the calculus of how it goes, but, um, um, maybe, um, if you guys have any questions for Mr. Burke, um, I'll be there, and, uh, I'll be here to answer your questions. So, um, yeah, um, if you can check out, um, Quinn's Instagram, Quinn does not believe that Ed is, um, Insulting, um, Rosemary. Rosemary was not feeling comfortable about Nonic Ed. If you don't know who he is, um, Nonic Ed is actually 54 years old. And, um, <coughs> and Rosemary's 23. And Rosemary said that age does not matter. I kind of just want to, um, give Rosemary and some advice. You can't date someone when older or something, um. I mean, what do you think? It's not really, um, when that be older or younger. I'm not sure about the dating thing, about the older things. That's kind of like being a critic pedophile or something, um, to tell someone tell you that your, your breath stinks or whatever, but, no matter what, I just don't appreciate that at all. I hear if my boyfriend treated me like that, I would just tell him to get out of my house. I'm not kidding, Rosemary, if I were you, I would just tell him to get out of my house. Just, um, leave me alone, just, um, find another, find another boyfriend or something, but, instead of that fat guy, because Ed, I hated him, he's a jerk. Ed is a jerk, okay? So, um, Quinn is not believe it, and Quinn's birthday is almost here. His 17th birthday. Um, he's gonna be really excited, um, I'll be planning, um, say happy birthday to Quinn. Hopefully I can, if I'm available or not. But, I've been active, like, a few past weeks. To check if there are any questions, but there are no questions, um. Um, if there are no questions, I'm just gonna log out. But if you guys do have questions, just ask me about how calculus is gonna go. Or, um, or geometry, or algebra 1, or algebra 2b. Or algebra 2a, algebra 2 letters. It doesn't matter what algebra 2 you're in, or, um, Whenever in your, like, uh, I used to think that Algebra 2, B, and A, Algebra 2 letters are not really a thing that I want to do, but, I didn't think it was a thing, but, um, just Algebra 2, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, three, some of you guys think that algebra, algebra 3 is a thing, in reality it's not, unless you make it one, but people don't know about the Algebra 3 thing, about, like, um, Algebra numbers, I don't think they're gonna make that that far, so, um, if you're looking for algebra that you already started, um, you can watch it if you like for your, uh, future or something, or, or I can do that, like, uh, or something that you can recommend, but it doesn't matter to me. I can, um, teach you how to be, um, recommended by any certain way that I can, uh, give you the crew, the math skill, if I can. Or I can teach English, science, social studies, or maybe some cooking things about how to help you. But this time, I used to teach, um, about things looking at my computer, but now I'm teaching about math. I'm gonna do, I'm doing a little plan math thing. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little cough because I'm a little sick. Um, don't mind me. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, um, well, I'm gonna do a little math now, so, um, I'm going to, um, get this covered out, so, uh, 
I better get this out of the way because some, and sometimes I have to get things control or whatever. Um, those are Queen's gloves when you have to go to the coronavirus thing. But all right, we need something baby here. All right, so um, all right, so um, single variable functions about the sample calculus problems. You can see that in right here. You can see that right here. So um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's gonna be a little sample. All right. All right, so I can see with my um, glasses. I don't have glasses, unfortunately. Even though I kind of do. All right, so um, so the single variable functions. Part one is actually the single variable functions, and part two is the multivariable functions, and part three is the sequences and series, and part four is a vector and analysis. So I'm gonna scroll down, and this is a part of the. This is a part of the thing that looks like the. Um, all right, so this is part of the analysis. So um, there's so many marks in there. So uh, yeah, you'll see the next one. All right. I don't know if you can see here. Alright, so part one is the single variable functions. So, um, part one, evaluate the limit of 4 minus and squared 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1, and do not use the L hospital rule. Do not use the rule. Like, you see these signs? Like, just don't use the rule, like, um, like Prodigy or something, or just don't use it by another program. Okay, so the solution, solution, um, it, the next one is 4 minus squared 3x plus 1 in the x and the 5 x squared minus 7x plus 10. And the solution is um, limited by 4 minus squared 3x point plus 1. Sorry about that. Let me start over. 4 minus squared 3x plus 1 and um, x and 5 x squared and minus 7x plus 10. x to 5, um, there's hypotenuse, like um, in parentheses, um, 4 minus, and this sign, and 3x plus 1, and there's another parenthesis, um, the 4x and a um, squared 3x plus 1. It's actually the same thing, just to be honest. And x and 5, write 5, and parenthesis, and x squared, x squared minus 7x plus 10. And parenthesis, 4x and squared 3x plus 1 to 16 minus 3x plus 1. And you have to, um, um, you have to, um, you have to think about um, the way to um, use these numbers. For example, um, you have to think what is going to fit the number of the calculus systems about what's going to change or something. <laughs> so instead of a t Mrs. Burns teaching, it's going to be about Mrs. Burns' Mrs. Mrs. Burns' problems, part eight. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So um, limited by uh, x squared and minus seven x plus ten and four x three x plus one and fifteen minus three x x. Uh, you guys already know that. X, X minus 5, X minus 2, 4X, 3X plus 1. And you have to think of a way to, um, what the numbers are going to fit in the numbers. Like, for example, you have to think of a way to, um, resolve this by, by using the calculator, um, if you guys know the answer. Or what do you think is going to fit the numbers by, what if we, um, um, what if we use it the right way or something, or we can use the uh, automatically. Yeah, the answer would be, um, 3 parenthesis 5 minus X. And x right 5, x minus 5, x minus 2, 4x, 3x plus 1. And it equals 3, equals negative 3, right? Mm-hmm. Um, x minus 2, 4x, 3x plus 1. How many think would you um, fit the numbers in, uh, in the solution of this um, elimination um, produced by another number? The answer would be negative 3, right? The same as the, um, the x minus 5, the answer. You guys can uh, figure this out by... You can figure the other way um, to, to help you. Um, so, um, all right, so, um, f 5 minus 2 and 4 plus 3.5 plus 1. And professor C, prof minuses. Sorry if I said it wrong, but negative 3 and, and what will we, what should we divide it for? Okay, so, um, all right, so, um, so 5 plus 3 is 8, so, um, so 3.8. And what do you think of this one? So, um, all right, so equals, um, so equals blank and negative blank and the eight. So um, all right. So um, so three plus two, so sorry about that. Um, okay. So um, like five plus three is eight. So um, we got negative three to divide by three point eight. So um, so equals um, three minus two is one. So one negative one divided by eight. So that's how you get the answer by. So this is a remark. Equal is the most frequently used verb in the mathematics. It was introduced in 1557 by Robert Record, 
To avoid a tedious rep repetition, the words is equal to, it is important to use the equal sign correctly. To introduce the phantom equal sign to avoid the tedious repetition of a simple equal is not a good idea. The solution above should not go like, what about by 4 minus 3x plus 1, or um, x the right way 5, x squared minus 7x plus 10. It was also limited to these numbers. See those numbers right here? So um, these different numbers, um, yeah, these different numbers are like a, are um, provided by each other <coughs> that I just read. I think so, I did. So um, it's actually, you guys already, um, I think I already read that one. So um, so x minus 5, x minus 2, 4, 4 plus um, 3x plus 1. And it's squared by these numbers right there. They're actually the same. 4 plus squared 3x plus 1. And what do you guys think um, about the, the same thing of 4 plus squared 3x plus 1? What do you think of that? They, they are the same, but give me the definition of that. All right, I'm going to do another math problem. All right, so um, one must also not use the other symbols, which have completely different meanings in place of the equal. The solution above should not go like limited by 4 minus 3x plus 1, x right point 5, x squared and uh, minus 7x plus 10. So um, the right way is actually, remember, um, so, um, so remember x minus 5, x minus 2, 4 plus squared 3x plus 1. So I'm going to scroll down here. Um, so, the equal sign can be used between two functions when we deal with when identities like x, mi x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus x plus 1 for all x, x this or 1, like equal, equal cross 1. Or when we deal with the equations like find all, r, find all x such as x squared plus x squared minus x squared. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me start over. Um, x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1, so um, equals x plus 1 for all x equal cross 1. So, so or when we deal with the equations like final x such as x squared equals 1 equals 4. Therefore, we cannot just stop, drop the sum of the light limit signs of the solution about to make it look like. Limited by these numbers, um, they are x and l, but you can tell that they're, they're pretty different. You guys, I know this. So, um, equals negative 3 divided by 3.8 equals negative 1 divided by 8. So, um, remember, um, you got already read them, so, um, those are actually the simple, um, calculations on um, calculations or calculus to, to remember for calculus, like, um, so the equi equal ladies on the lines which mark with, with x are not correct. So, um, negative 3, div negative 3 divided by x minus squared, 4 plus squared 3x plus plus 1 by 3, negative 3, is, um, x minus 2, 4x, 3x plus 1. Negative 3 by 1 minus 2, 4 plus squared 3.1 plus 1. And it equals, like, what do you think of when it goes by by another situation, by using the um, formats of these numbers? What do you guys think? Um, it, and it actually equals um, 1 divided by 2 equal cross negative 1 divided by 8. Let m be the slope of a tangent line to the graph of y minus y um y equals sorry about that y equals x squared at the point y equals x squared divided by x plus 2 at the point of negative 3 to negative 9 express m as a limit do not compute m obviously um the slope m of the tangent line is the graph of the y equals f x at the point of the x o f parentheses x o is given by the limit m equals limited by x and x o f x minus f x o x minus x zero like whatever you call it um it's kind of like an o or zero you can ask and see whatever you want it is your own anatomy or equivalently by the limit m minus limited by f x o plus h and how do we get h also we got the um minus f x o and we, we got the h from the the pre we got the H for the, um, when it fits by the, um, by the F and the O. F and O make, makes sense, but it actually adds the H together, so, um, or equivalently by the limit, so, um, H, right way O. Therefore, two possible answers are M equals limited by X, negative 3, X squared, divided by, um, X plus 2, equals, um, equals limited by H and the O, um, also starts by X squared, X plus 2, and um, minus um, negative 9, 
x equals um what do you guys think um so um so five minus two is three so um negative three obviously so limited by negative three plus h squared negative three plus h plus two and minus um negative nine and divided by h right so um so with the equation line suppose that limited f x equal cross zero and limited limited g x and a c x and zero show that limited by x c f x and g r or g x sorry about that and f and a g x so we f and a g and an h so yeah um, does not exist so the solution is assumed that the limits of the f x and g x exists and limited um by l equals limited f x and, and g x divided by that then then by the prod product the, by the proteus by limited f x equals limited by f x and g x and point g x parentheses and limited um f x and g x limited g and, a, and a x um equals l point zero z equals zero this contradicts the fact of the limit in the f and x and equal cross zero therefore our assumption cannot be true limited f x and a g x does not exist oops sorry about that um so you guys know that um so you guys know about the um so um suppose that the limit f x equals zero and there's a zigzag constant at k such that g and x um previous k for all x equal cross c in some open interval containing c show that limited by f x g r g x i don't know why it looks like an r but um you guys can tell the difference but i don't understand equal equals zero solution we add um f x g x equals f x point g x previous f x point k in some open interval and around therefore Negative k f x previous f x g r g x. I was gonna say x at that point, but previous k f x. Now applying the sandwich theorem, and using the fact of the limited f x equals zero, we obtain the result. So you guys understand the um. So about the seniors, um, you guys can use this um, by your notes or something um to keep on track. If you guys have any problems um, I can do more of them tomorrow. I'm just um trying to get things done to um get prepared. <laughs> um, how many days are on video? Um, like, how many of us are on a video? Like, let me see about that. Um, 1822. Alright, we have, like, more minutes to, um, teach. I'll keep it on for, like, 35 minutes. I'll go another one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get in mind the following limits of the, if limit fx equals a and limited fx equals b. And a, limited f, e, x squared equals xx, um, oh my god, what am I saying? f x squared um minus x limited f x free squared minus f x parentheses and we can do um b um which would you which would you rather think of a b c d and e so limited by f x squared minus f x limited by f x free squared minus x and um f x squared e minus x f x fr free squared minus f x f x previous zero then x x squared right zero and negative x right zero therefore x squared and x right zero for x previous zero and x2 minus r minus x sorry about that x x squared minus x approaches eight for the for the right as x approaches zero from the left limited f x squared and x equals a b since x squared right zero for x previous zero x squared approaches for 8 to the right as x approaches for 0 to the left <laughs> hence limited um f x squared um minus f x equals limited f x squared minus limited f x equals a minus b c for 0 previous x previous 1 we have x free squared um previous x and x third squared minus x previous 0 so x third squared minus x approaches for eight, 0 from the left as x approaches for 8 to the right. Therefore, limited by fx free squared minus x equals b. Um, since x free squared previous 0 from the x previous 0, x free squared approaches for the 0 from the left as the x approaches from the, from the left, hence limited fx free squared minus x fx equals limited fx free squared minus limited fx equals b, um, minus b equals zero. For zero previous x previous one, we have x squared previous x and x squared 
minus x. Previous zero, x squared minus r minus x approaches eight from the left. That's it. X approaches one from the left. How do we get one number, one point, <laughs> one point for the for the fx squared minus r minus x equals b? Um, they add another. They add one number by by using approach it, my approach by by using the uh, the calculations for to get that prepared for another session. All right. The thing to let you know, guys, that, um, sorry about that. Let Q be the point of intersection in the first quadrant of the circle C1 with equation x, mi x minus 1 squared plus y squared minus 1 in the circle C squared with equation x squared plus y squared plus r squared. Let r by the point where the line passing through points P0, comma, r and Q intersects in X axis, determine what happens to R as R right line zero, zero plus. It's kind of like algebra when you have to do like, it's kind of like algebra one or algebra two B. It's kind of like algebra one or algebra two, or um, it's kind of like geometry or, some of you guys think that it's actually algebra one, algebra two, geometry, or any enough defin definitions of, some of, you guys, some of you guys know that, but it's actually calculus. Um, as you can see, it's actually um, the sample calculus problems, like um, you can see it right there. Um, it's actually the sample calculations of the calculus. Or if you're on pre-calculus, you can let now you can see the circle circle in the line uh, on the graph um, by the by the negative two. A right way goes to um, this arrow. Some of you guys know that um, there's a circle comes right this negative two. <laughs> Solution subtracting x squared plus y squared and equals r squared from x minus one squared plus y squared equals one. We obtain x equals r squared slash 2, and substituting this back of the x squared plus y squared and equals r squared gives us q, r squared slash 2, um, squared r squared minus r four squared slash 4. How do we get that? Yeah, like r, a, and a 0, b coordinates to r, and let s be the foot of the perpendicular, per perpendicular from the q to the x-axis. So, so triangles r, f, q, and r, o, p, are similar, we have, and hence, a minus r squared slash 2, and, squ and squared squared line, r squared uh, minus r4 squared slash 4, equals a divided by, divided by r, and a um, r3 squared slash 2, and um, how do we think of the r in a free square? It changes the numbers, like, changes the um, 2 squared, 3 squared, and 4 squared. How do you guys know the difference about that? I'll give, I'll give you time to think about it. So, um, yeah, we have to, um, figure out the, um, figure out how similar they are, or, or they look, um, they're not, they are actually the same, but they are a little different, just to be honest. Then, eliminated A equals eliminated by R3 squared slash 2. R minus slash point R squared minus R4 four, four squared plus five, slash 4. R3, R3 squared slash 2, R squared minus R squared minus R4 squared slash 4, and the, and the plus r4 r squared minus r4 squared slash 4. All right, so um, the things to know about, guys, is um, two limit, two limitations are 1 plus 1 minus r squared slash 4 equals 2.1 plus slash point 1 minus 0 squared slash 4 equals 4, right? Therefore, r approaches the point of 4, 0 as r right line 0 squared, 0 plus squared. All right, so, um, how much do we have here? Sorry, I didn't mean to show my face. Sorry for that. I just can't see, um, about my costume here. I think I'll do, um, two more, if I can. Use a formal definition of the limit to show that limited 1 divided by x is 2, given, um, given this, um, given e right to right 0, and we want to find 8 right 2, right, what am I saying, bro, like, um, 8, right, 0, such that 0, um, 0, um, previous, slash, um, x minus 1 divided by 2, slash, x, um, x minus 1 divided by 2, um, so remember, um, one simple way to figure out this, you can use, like, a calculator or something, or you can use, like, different ways to, um, calculate this for, um, for a real calculator to, um, you can use the sign that says, um, calculus, um, if you can find any numbers, just let me know, um, so show me the sign of a calculation. So um, what can I do to resolve this problem? So um, all right. So um, 
So, um, previous, um, 8, uh, forged that way, 1 divided by x minus 2 is, um, previous e, pl e point. And we want to know what there's no number in this whatsoever. We will do this in two different ways. Solve the inequality method. First, we solve 1, 1 divided by x minus 2. And previous e for x. 1 divided by x minus 2. And previous e, um, um, sideways 2 minus 3 previous 1 divided by x previous 2 plus e. The next step depends on whether 2, mi two minus e is positive, 0 or negative. If 2, 0, if 2, I'm um, sorry, if 2 minus e right 0, that is, that is if e previous 2 then, 2 minus e previous 1 divided by x previous 2 plus e sideways 1 divided by 2 and, and 3. Right way, right x, right 1 divided by 2 plus e. Uh, I'm gonna go back there. I um. So, what do you think of these? Um, what do you think I should do for the, for the next one? Um, um, what do you think I should do for this problem? Because I want to know what what is gonna fit from, the calculation of this problem right here. Let me know. <laughs> so, um, all right. Now we're going to the next one. And your um, this, this is the line that you guys can guess that. So, um, so to think of that, um, my um thing is shown right here. I don't know why, but. If 2 minus e plus minus um, equals 0, sorry, that is if e equals 2, then 2 minus e previous 1 divided by x previous 2 plus e sideways x right way 1 divided by 2 and e. 2 plus e. So there's 4 and there's 2 and e. Y2, 2 minus e. And there's, there's negatives then pluses or or hypotenuse or, um, or calculation of this. Looks like e's. They are um, these little things. Um, the calculation of C, of E or C can be different ways. So um, so remember, 2 minus E previous 1 divided by X previous 2 plus E sideways X right way 1 divided by 2 plus E. So um, I'm going to repeat myself one more time. 2 minus E previous 1 divided by two X previous 2 pl plus E sideways X right 1 divided by 2 plus e, or negative 1 divided by e minus 2, right x point. And we do not have a number for this one. All right, so I'm going to scroll down this a little bit. So next we choose 8 in such a way that every x satisfying the condition of 0 previous x minus 1 divided by 2, previous 8. And it um, slashes the, um, the awkward sign to 8. Like the solution, it says for 1 divided by x minus 2. Um, and it awkwards to E, and therefore the implication in the star holds in all three cases choosing a delta such an um in the zero awkwards A A awkwards um um okay so um I forgot what was I called um what do you think of the um the arrow in the thing calls I I forgot I just want to know what that is zero um previous A previous one slash two minus one slash two plus E plus um minus E or equals E slash 4 plus 2e achieves the estimation method suppose 0 previous slash x minus 1 slash 2 1 and a half <laughs> all right so uh, i'm going to check what that what that thing is i just want to know what that is i'm going to copy this real quick wait not, no not the e i just want to know what that means about this one I just, just want to know what that um, thing is for. The left sign is a mathematical symbol that de denotes the inequality between two values of the one we adopted for two equal length strokes connecting an acute angle at the left has been found in documents dated as far as the 1560s. So um, I'm going to show you. So this is the Windows, and this is the Android, the Linux, and iOS. I know some of you guys think that um, those are different... Those are greater than or less than. Um, all right, so um, I'm going to try again. So I find that 0 less than x minus 1 divided by 2 less than 8. Why is there a solution instead of 1, and a half, 1 divided by x minus 2 and less than e? And therefore, an implication is star holds in all three cases choosing the delta such as 0 less than 8, 
less than 1 slash 2 equals 1 slash 2 plus e equals e slash 4 plus 2e as she this. Do you want to divide by x minus 2 equals 2x plus minus 1 and half? And what do you guys think of, what should I do to um, fix this problem? Something divided by x. Less than something divided by x. What number? What obvious number? Give me the specific number. 28, right? Yeah, 28 divided by x. All right, so uh, at this point, what is also decide to choose 8 to satisfy 8 less than 1 slash 4. Why 1 slash 4? Then 0 less than x minus 1 and, and a half less than 8. Right way, 1 slash 8 minus, zero, minus 8 less than x less than 1 and a half plus 8. Right way, towards 1, and, 1, 4 and a half less than x less than 3, 4. Right way, 4 greater than 1 slash x greater than 4 and a 3. 1 slash x what, less than 4 and therefore 1, divi 1 divided by x minus 2 less than 28 divided by x. And it, what do you think of it less than, less than what? You guys can tell the difference between the 8 and the, the different look of 8. Um, let me show you look at the 8s real quick. I'm going to show you the difference between the 8. I'm going to show you the 8 looks. I'm not talking about the um, 8 looks. Why am I talking wrong? Math 8. Um, 8 is the calculus of functions of one of zimbral variables. 8th addition, e solutions, that comes like 8e, looks like the difference between 8, the regular 8, and the different look of 8 for calculus of the math problem that we're doing. Um, so, uh, so it means like 8, 8, 8, 88, 88 point. So hence is given e greater than 0 if we choose 8 to satisfy 8 less than e slash 8 as well as 8 less than 1 and a half 4. Then we will have 1 divided by x minus 2 and 8, 88, less 88. E divided by 8 equals e, and star will hold in conclusion any choice of 8 satisfying 8 less than 8, less than minute, e slash 8, 1, and it slash 4 works. Show that limitation, x4 squared plus 7x minus 17 equals 43 using your formal definition of the limit. Solution for any given e greater than 0, we have to find the 8 greater than zero, so that's, that's for all that we have eight, previ eight previous less than x minus equals three, negative three, sorry, previous less than eight, right way x, so remember x four squared plus seven x equals um, seven, seven four squared plus seven x minus 17 equal 17 minus 43, previous then e. We have x four squared plus seven x what we do? What did we do to get um, x? What would we do to get seven x to seventeen to end the forty three? What do you guys think? Yeah, we have to um, um, calculate it, like um, to figure out um, to divide stuff or something to use the calculation system. Um, x four squared plus seven x minus seventeen minus forty three equals x four squared plus seven x minus what? What do you guys think? So we have to get. Um, so we have to use like definitions of. So 43 plus 17 is 60, so um, so it's 60. So x4 squared plus 7x minus 17 minus 43 equals x4 squared plus 7x minus 60. Equals 7, 7 plus 3 equals, um, so equals 7x plus 3, x3 squared minus 3x squared plus 9x um, minus 20. Suppose that 8 previous x, um, x uh, minus negative 3 previous and 8 and 8 previous 1 then then negative 4 and previous and negative 3 um negative 8 previous x previous negative 3 plus 8 previous negative 2 in particular so that's how it's supposed to be the met method for the calculus system <coughs> sorry about that i have a little bit of cough today so i um, apologize for that so um so yeah um so many calculations that um that can help you and just get back up so yeah um so yeah, that's how you get prepared for another system of how you do in calculations to think about more system or or maybe you can think about what's going to happen by or maybe you can think about what's going to um, think about what's going to do the math problem or something about like that. Oh, sorry about that, I'm a little bit sick today. Um, 
Or you can think about this, or you think about the easy way to use a calculator, but no, you have to, um, but you have to use the, um, use your mind to, um, think about it for the quiz. Um, so tomorrow I'll be doing more definition for calculus, if that's okay, so, um, so yeah, um, alright. So, um, like I said, if you, if you have any questions of how calculus is gonna go only for seniors, um, or if you're not a senior, what are you? Or are you in college? Um, this is how I teach Mrs. Burke's Problems Part 8. So, um, it's actually gonna be, um, yeah, it's gonna be on Calculus Problems Part 8. So, I used to be doing teaching, but now I'm doing Calculus Problems. So, um, alright, so, um, like I said, if you have any questions, just, uh, let me know. Comments down below. Many people should be subscribing because, um, I've been getting less subscribers than I get used to. So please subscribe to Quinn Simpson, Brian the Builder. That's what his kid channel is. So, um, so, um, I'm gonna show you how Lion's gonna do with Miston because Miston has been, uh, very childish lately. Like, he needs to grow up just a little bit. Um, I forgot how Miston, how old when Miston was Miston? Miston was 13. So, um, yeah, I'll be prepared for Gwen's birthday, Gwen's 17th birthday, and Lion is so excited to see him. Lion is so, me and Lion are so excited to see him celebrate his party. Um, to think about what's gonna happen for, um, I think 17 for Quinn. It's gonna be really, um, different for him. He might move to another city or something. As you can tell, he's already tired from this, um, Indiana city. He wants to move somewhere else than Indiana. That's kind of interesting. I want to do that too, actually. I can't stand Indiana anymore, but... <coughs> I'm just saying, like, um, Quinn's school is nothing, but they treat him like a child or something, um, they don't understand him that much because, um, he doesn't know any problems or something, but they just lie to him for some reason what they do. So, um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys later, and bye. If you guys want, um, yeah, one day, yeah, um.